My name is Patch Drury. I'm an award-winning writer, a published cartoonist, and a Joseph Campbell enthusiast. And I live in Lexington, Kentucky. Lexington is the home of bourbon, basketball, and horses. Three things that, in my opinion, all taste very similar. Lexington was also at one time the home of Robert Kirkman and Tony Moore, the creators of the Walking Dead comic series. I have no idea how they taste. We'll be using The Walking Dead to discuss the next stage in the hero's journey, the belly of the whale. After a hero has accepted their call to adventure, uh, overcome any desire to refuse that call, possibly encountered supernatural aid in the form of a mentor, and taken the first step over the threshold, they are often swallowed by a whale. This stage in the journey seems to take its name from the biblical story of Jonah. Jonah in the whale. I mean, that's that's a standard motif of going into the whale's belly and coming out again. In that story, God calls on Jonah to go and preach to the people of Nineveh. Not seeing much to love in the life of an evangelist, Jonah does something we're already familiar with. He refuses the call. Jonah boards a ship and attempts to flee God. But God, not being stymied by the oceans that he created, pursues Jonah. God sends a storm and the boat that Jonah is on is beset on all sides by wind and waves. Realizing he's the cause of this turmoil and not wishing to endanger his fellow passengers, Jonah asks to be thrown over the side of the ship. Jonah's fellow passengers oblige him and give him the old bum's rush over the side. No sooner does Jonah hit the water than the storm stop and Jonah is swallowed by a whale. Jonah survives being swallowed and spends three days and three nights in the belly of that whale. After three days, the whale vomits Jonah, not coincidentally, on the shores of Nineveh. Jonah is changed by this experience. His hair and his skin are bleached white by the whale's stomach acid. And three days in the briny depths of this whale's belly has caused him to reconsider a life of ministry. When a hero crosses the threshold into a land of adventure, he will often encounter the beasts that are native to that land, and he's likely to be swallowed by one of them. Of course, these beasts needn't actually be alive, and in many cases they often aren't. When a hero is swallowed, his fate isn't death or digestion, it's change. In The Hero with a Thousand Faces, Joseph Campbell compares entering the belly of the whale with entering a spiritual temple or a sacred space where the goal of the true believer is spiritual transformation. Jonah exited the whale changed. He went in unwilling to serve God and exited a bleached evangelist. Christian theologians have suggested that the story of Jonah prefigures the story of Christ. Jonah's three days in the whale represent Christ's three days in the tomb. Christ went in a man and came out something more. So in a comic, when a character enters a belly of the whale moment, he enters a crucible. He goes in one thing and comes out something else. The comic that we'll be examining the belly of the whale through, as I said earlier, is Kirkman and Moore's Walking Dead. The series focuses on a rural sheriff named Rick Grimes as he and a group of survivors make their way across our country after it's been ravaged by a zombie apocalypse. After a good bit of time surviving out in the open and avoiding zombies, Rick and the survivors come across a largely abandoned prison. Rick and the survivors are cautiously excited because this prison not only represents a roof over their heads, but also a secure perimeter to protect them from zombies. But as you might have suspected, this prison becomes their belly of the whale. They go in one thing and come out another. When Rick and the others enter this prison, their concerns have largely been around survival, finding food, finding shelter, avoiding zombies. Taking up residence in the prison seems to mostly eliminate these problems but creates a whole new set. Now the issue shifts strongly to relationship. Issues of leadership arise. Things like fairness, jealousy, hierarchies take the center stage. Rick and his crew enter the prison as nomadic survivors, but they quickly are transformed into a miniature society. The belly of the whale is a container, one specifically designed to transform our hero. Stories are, after all, about change. Otherwise, why go through all the trouble of getting swallowed by a whale to begin with?